Hello, folks, it's Jules, and it's time for another stitch with me. I hope you got your favorite project to work on, or at least the one that maybe you need to get the most work done on. Uh, today I'm going to be working on um, Old World Map 2. As you can tell from the last video, I actually have gotten more done. I finished this top part here. Um, wow, I'm like trying to see things with my glasses. I'm having a hard time this morning. <laughs> um, but, uh, and then I just kind of started filling in more of this. Now, if you recall, the last page that I worked on... Hey, cat, keep it down. Cat's being really loud this morning. Um, I basically uh, have gotten a lot more done. You gonna be able to get out on your own, buddy? There you go. I love self-sufficientness. Self-sufficientness. I had kind of closed the door almost all the way, and the cat just kind of pulled it open and walked out. See, I love that. Cats are so self-sufficient. Um... Anyway, so for the last page that I did, um, I had basically the goal of just doing one row at a time. And that was good, um, but I want to kind of do like all this section at once this time because as you can see, it's all very similar. So I can fill in two rows maybe faster by um, focusing on um, just getting as many stitches done at a time as I can. So I went ahead and did some work on it earlier this week, a couple days ago um, after the weekly update, and I thought, well, I just want to go ahead and keep working on it and get some more stuff done. So hopefully we can make some good progress with... What is that? Did I get a highlighter right there? I must have. That's weird. It'll come out. I'll get it to come out at some point. Uh, let's see here. Nope, nope, nope. Got that and that and that. There we go. All right. So, so it's Sunday morning, about 7.30, and it's a good time to get this done. It's very overcast today. It's very fall-like, which we love. My husband's going to go down and check out the bees and see if there's any more honey to take from them um, this morning. So... Once he leaves and I finish this video, I'm going to go downstairs and do the other. Um, I'm going to do uh, one of the question and answer videos. So, so I'm going to get that done. That's going to be good. I'm going to get the stitch with me out this morning, later this morning. And then get the... Um, question and answer out tomorrow. That will be good. Okay, I'm going to come down here. Oh, I did that one. I'm going to do that one there. This one is a bit more complicated. I still feel like my eyeballs are working really well this morning. It's a little early for me. That's to do a video, not to do anything else. Just to do a video. We had family in town yesterday. Um, my husband's family is traveling, driving around the country, and uh, some extended family that I hadn't met yet, and uh, it was good because. He hadn't seen them in a very long time, and we had a great time. We had a wonderful time. We went out to lunch, and then we hung out. Um, they're big sports fans, which was awesome because we could talk sports, and he enjoyed that very much. And so uh, we uh, then we watched a baseball game together at uh, the hotel they were staying at. So we had a lot of fun, and uh, it was pretty worn out after working and then hanging out with them and um, – it's been a been a long week, and I'm ready for today for a bunch of football and cross stitching galore, extravaganza. I have worked on. We'll see. So once I finish with Old World Map Two, this will be the last I work on it for this week. Um, and then, oh, I found the threads for the floss for E Pluribus Unum. We did a big cleanup. Um, and in the process of cleaning out my desk space, I found the proper thread floss for that. So I'm going to jump on that and get working on that today. And I want to get some work done on Reaper and Stormtrooper and Boba Fett. I got a lot of things to do, people. A lot of things to do. 
which I'm happy about. Love having lots of things to do. Never get bored. Never get bored. Because I didn't stitch at all yesterday, which is unusual for me, but it needed break, you know, periodically just to recharge the batteries. Um, I did actually organize everything, which was good. I um, went through and put all my floss back up on the wall. and um, I will include that um, floss video that I said that I would and then I didn't. Um, at the question and answer session, I'll show you guys how I organize my floss for somebody who has a, a massive amounts of projects. And I really like the way that the floss organization system works because it's just so easy to keep everything together for me because I'm not by nature in a uh, I don't want to say organized, well, organized, not terribly organized, and not terribly neat at times. Save that before I pull that through. We also got hockey starting this week. I mean, guys, there's so much, so much to watch now. It's crazy how it goes from nothing for me to massive amounts of... Oh, yeah, and then on top of that, we've got the world premiere of Doctor Who next week. And I don't know if you guys are Doctor Who fans, but... Um, I've been a Doctor Who fan off and on. Um, I really loved David Tennant. I loved Matt Smith. I did not care for the last guy. I just, I don't know what it was. It was just, I, he was so angry. And I know that's part of the, the whole thing, but that's, I don't know. I just didn't, I just didn't appreciate that very much. And, um, so, and now for the first time, Doctor Who is going to be a woman, and she seems pretty cool, and they're definitely going to end up taking this in a different direction, so it'll be interesting to watch and just see kind of what they do, um, so I'm kind of, kind of excited to see that, so that'll be something big for next Sunday, I'm not sure exactly when we'll be watching that, but I'll have to either miss a little bit of football, I know, right? I'm not sure if I can do that. Maybe we'll just maybe I'll just tape it and record it and watch it watch it after the games. But that'll be good. That'll be good. And uh here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Go go go. That's not going to be enough to do anything with. Let's put that aside. Let's pull out a different color. Because so I had a, a color kind of, a little color threaded up here. Threaded up. Needled up. Where to, oh, there it is. Got my, pur got my purple highlighter. Is it purple? Yeah, it's purple. Good deal. I was like, I looked at it in the camera and it looked like it was blue. So that was weird. I'm just going to highlight for a sec. Because it's incredibly important to stay up with that on this project. Because it's so ridiculously vast. Alright. I'm going to do a little bit different. Hmm, ba ba hum, ba ba hum. You know, I don't know if I want to do this color. I don't think I want to do this color. I got this color already, and now I don't think I want to do it because it doesn't look. It looks like it's going to be a little harder to find the stitches. So let me go over to find a. Ah, come here. Come here, you. Um, let's see here. What do I got? Hmm. 
Hum, 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 people. Hum, hum, hum. Hmm. Oh, I didn't bring everything up with me. Oh, no, wait, there it is. I thought I hadn't, but yes, I had. I'll put a little bit more color in. Ah, get away. Okay, let's not use this. This is a pretty large needle. And for an 18 count, it's maybe too large. So I'm going to use something slightly smaller, even though it's a little harder for me to thread. No, I don't use those little thread helper, or eye, eye helper things. I could do this. Let's see. What do I have on my finger? I don't know what that is. It looks like it's yellow. What did I eat that was yellow? I don't know. Don't remember. Okay. Doop 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 doop. We're gonna go down here. Let's see here. Right, right there. Right there. It's funny. I've stitched so many of these. Uh, these pages, these old world map pages, because this is page, pages, it's page 12 now, and I think 10 of these pages have started out the exact same way. So at least on the top, like the top three rows have been very similar structure <clears throat> all the way across. So it's just the next part that becomes more difficult. Or not more difficult, just a little bit more time consuming. But these these parts can go pretty fast. Yeah. Snag, snag, go away. Don't ever come back another day. <laughs> oh, back is a little tired. I'm like focusing so much on getting this. I think I missed it. Doesn't look good. Even though on a project that has 900,000 stitches, I still am like, if it's a really bad looking stitch, I've got to redo it. Sometimes I can kind of fudge over it a little bit, but that's just kind of a bad looking stitch. Do the same thing again. Here, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. 
kind of did. I kind of went in that same exact hole. So I'm going to do, let's just go back over it, take my needle and kind of make sure I slide into that, the end of that hole. And that way I just make it a little bit better. A slightly larger stitch because of that, but I'm okay with that. It really doesn't, I mean, you can't tell now. sure if I'm wearing the right glasses. I'm pretty sure I am in some ways, but I'm going to pull these on here. Ah. Let me try these first for a little bit. You always worry that your eyes get just a little bit worse. Yeah, these, those are definitely not far away glasses. That's going to give me a headache. All right, so I'm going to tie this off right, y'all. Boop, ba doop, ba doo. Boop, ba doop, ba doop, ba doop, ba doop. And where am I? Where am I? Okay, so then on this one, right there. I hope my Old World Map 2 project isn't feeling jealous since I, um, I'm so excited about this new Wonders of the World piece, which I still haven't, you know, I haven't ordered the fabric, I haven't gotten started yet, so Old World Map 2, you're still my number one. You're still my number one. You're still the one. Like this corner. Okay, good. This is one of those projects where this is another one of those where. This particular page goes all the way over and then is short one row. So this is actually the start of the next page, so I just have to be very mindful of that as I do this. I didn't want to go and make a make a grid mark at 9 um, and then have to do another one like right at 10. Uh, I just, I felt like I would mess myself up if I did that, so... It's all good. Oh, nice. Okay. Doop boo doop 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 doop. Bink bink bink. All right, let's highlight for just a second. Just a cotton bit in second here. Well, I say, I say. Boop, ba doop, 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 ba doop. Alrighty. 
Okie dokie. A little bit of my dog, Dr. Peppa, which is my which is my worst vice, I think, is all the diet Dr. Pepper that I drink. Get out of there. There we go. Let's put this back on here. Man, I have so many projects that I could start on top of all the ones that I have. Gosh, the end of the year is going to be crazy when I do my end of the year like review and all my projects and stuff. It's going to be like, pfft. I got even more. I'm like, last year, I'm like, how can I possibly get more? Now I got possibly, I possibly did get more. Possibly, possibly. Okay, did that. And I did that. And then I stopped here. I found this, uh, well, I shouldn't say I found this. My husband found a, uh, a, a YouTuber that I'm interested in watching more of his videos. It's called, he's called Captured in Words, and he does book reviews. And um, it looks like a lot of what he does is kind of like fantasy type stories. Um, one of the ones that he's focused a bit on is um, the, the King Killer Chronicles or Trilogy or whichever one it's called. Um, and... My husband and I are big fans of that book, or those two books, waiting for the third one. But um, he uh, he seems pretty, he seems very passionate about it, and he, he's, I guess he works in the book industry, and, um, but I, you know, something completely new. I like to find completely new things to kind of look at. There we go. different points of view and different it's the first time that I think I follow anybody that's reviewed books hopefully there's not too many spoilers in that Myself. Oh, snaggy. Snaggerific. I like it when I meet people and I tell them that I do cross stitch and and they're like, oh that's nice. And then I whip out a picture of one of my projects and they're like, holy cow. It's one of my favorite things. like feeling like it's all over the place today does not want to stay where it should stay it says I want to be free I want to be free and I'm like nope you get in my way you get in my way and I can't do anything when you get in my way to cut you off. No, I wouldn't do that. Not yet.
Uh-oh. I snagged that right into a knot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, let's see how we can get around this. Well, I think we can get around it because I'm kind of done with, uh, with this. Uh, or am I? Or am I? I've got a few more that I can do here. Let's come down here. We'll just pull through a little bit. I'll try and hide the knot in the end. Here we go. Just pulled up to the knot there. And right here. Oh, not even let you guys see. I'm sorry. How selfish. Get this here and that there. Hmm. Then what? And then one here. Hmm. Okay. Stay on target. Stay on target. One, two, three, four. And then a couple over here. I can sneak in. That one. this color for a little bit. There we go. All right. Okay, let's highlight a little bit. I usually try and highlight after every little section that I do. Just to be as accurate as possible what I have done and what I need to do. Do 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 Okay. Right. Pop. Let's put a little bit more color into this. Let's see here. Put a little more in with some three five three eight five five. Ah, it's all wound up in itself here. What? What? My goodness gracious, who who wound this? That would probably be me. I'm not even gonna use that because that was so messed up. I'm not even sure if that's the right color on there. Mm, look at that. I'm getting down to the end of this that bobbin. I'm going to have to see if I've got any more of this I can put on there. I cut my nails last night, and so now I'm having a hard time separating floss. I need a little bit more nail in order to do this. Ah, come here, yo. Ah, 
Ta-da! Oh wait, that wasn't the one. This was the one I wanted to use. Ta-da! fill in with some a little bit bolder colors. I'll wait a little bit longer before I put in like the dark lettering. You just fill in so much more everything else. It'll just be easier to know exactly where I need to stitch with their lettering once I get more of this light stuff done. Okay, there's that. Whoops. Already a snag. And almost lost. All right. Bleep, 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 blue. Bleep, 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 bleep. Okay, there. Okay, there. I'll be right here. Hold on. Come here. This is going to be one of those days where I'm going to be thirsty all day. I need to get some water in, it's for sure. I just love how overcast it is. It's truly fall now, thank goodness. Way more fun. Way more fun. Should have done mm, this. Is it this stitch? No, it's th this stitch right here, right? Yes, I should have done that. There we go. All right, so we backtrack a smidge. Um. Come here. Come here, you. There's that one. Come here. So when you're doing one of these large full coverage cross stitches, um, you definitely want to use like the smallest needle that you feel comfortable with something that is going to have an easier time of finding these the holes basically in the fabric and going through and and once you've gotten you know you can have four different pieces of thread in in any hole and uh, you got to be able to make room for the needle too so using a smaller needle makes that a lot easier you can use a larger needle when you're just kind of doing a bunch of stitching and you're not necessarily you know stitching in and around all these other ones but Smaller needles are a must. At least this is 18 count. So um, on a 16 count, I can still get away with using a larger needle, which is what I'm comfortable with. Okay. Okay. My husband's watching downstairs. He's been watching. Well, he's probably watching the Doctor Who marathon that's on today, but I caught him yesterday watching the Peanuts movie, which he loves. And then yesterday he was in a 
Indiana Jones mood, and so he was watching uh, the Indiana Jones trilogy while he was cleaning and kind of doing stuff, and so I'm definitely one of those. I love the third movie the best, The Last Crusade, and Raiders is good. It's the classic. I really don't like Temple of Doom at all. It's just too dark. Too dark for me. Mm -hmm. Let me just see here. Is this right? That looks right. I'm going to need to watch the video from last week so I can see where I, you know, what projects I have. I kind of bundled all my stuff is because we cleaned all my stuff is kind of jumbled together. So I'm like, well, what have I worked on? What have I not worked on? What has got lots of progress and what doesn't? Um, so I got to do that. Okay. Where am I? This is number two. I need to come up here and put in, let's see, that's not really where that goes. Hmm. All right, hold on. Time out. Time out. Stitching time out. I came upstairs to do the stitch with me and my husband said, uh, what, did he, what did he say? Come back with your stitching done or upon it, which is a takeoff of a, the movie 300 where the the wife of the military leader says you know come back on your come back with your shield or upon it like when they went off the battle man they're brutal brutal brut brut brutal okay you can do this truly you can do this all right so this so right here And then I gotta do this. through all the way. Freshen up the end. Get in there, you crazy, crazy floss. Let's get one more stitch done if we can here. Okay, I'm going to change this and get a fresh thing. Makes me happy when I can stitch a whole thing, put a whole thing of, whole thing, you know, like put a whole thing in my needle and get all those stitches in there. That's like, that's a lot of stitching done on that color for this project. And it makes me happy. A whole lot of loving is what we'll be bringing. Come on, get happy. I don't know why the Partridge family always comes in my head on Sunday mornings. I really don't. I wish that I could remember more important things. Like where my phone is sometimes. But... We do what we can. All right, so let's go back to where we were here. I'm gonna put a couple 
more stitches in this row, and then we're gonna go back down. Boom. So yeah, so I got I got so much to watch. So I got red zone today with all the football action. Bears are playing in the beginning. So hopefully be able to see a fair bit of that. I don't know if it's playing on a local channel or not. I haven't looked. But I watch all the games, so I've got a lot to pay attention to. And um, so I've got that going on today. And then the afternoon games, later in the afternoon, got to watch me some Baker Mayfield and uh, the, um, the Browns, see what they can do. Just so much to watch, so much to stitch. It's awesome. Almost pulled that through again. And yeah, and Wednesday night, I don't, the Blues don't play Wednesday night. They play on Thursday, I believe. But Toronto plays. So the teams I like to watch in hockey are the Blues are my number one. And then it's kind of a mix between Toronto and Boston. Um, but I will watch a few other teams. I'll watch some, let's see, let me think here. I'll watch some Winnipeg, I'll watch some Dallas, especially this year. Dallas' uh, new head coach came from Denver University, and we've, we're big fans of DU, and uh, watching the, um, you know, they went and got their title a few years back, and with that coach, and so we're, we love them. Um, new Jersey I'll watch. Mm, hold on, I'm just looking at this, seeing what I got to do. Um, hold on. Stay on target. Stay on target. Do this right here. Am I on the right thing? Okay, I am. Um, but... But even if you're just, you know, if you're just watching a couple of teams, it keeps you busy because they play two or three times a week plus football. So I don't, I, I didn't get a chance to watch any college yesterday. So actually, I don't even know, like, I know Georgia won. That's my alma mater. So I know they won. Um, I haven't seen really anything else. I'm going to jump down here and get this stitch right here. Don't want to miss that one. I have to come back later. There we go. Get up here. There's that. There's that. Okay. And then what's this? There's that. Hmm. <clears throat> and there's here. I'm sorry I'm not being terribly talkative. I think I'm I think I'm saving all my talking for the question and answer video here here. 
and part of it also is just with this project, I just have to focus a bit more when I'm stitching on it, so. This is just very particular. There's that. Hmm, doop 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 doop. It's funny because you'll be doing like all these super light yellowy type colors and then you finally start putting in the lettering and it just starts to pop. It's so cool. itchy spot. start losing the end of the thread. Losing the thread. I, f I can't find my, I when in, in my cleaning yesterday, I couldn't find my, uh, um, my tiny uh, scissors, which I'll, I'll find when I go back downstairs, but my husband got this for me uh, for my birthday, or it was a Christmas, but a little Hogwarts lanyard with the, so that I wouldn't lose the scissors. And it's right, I never lose that pair. That pair is always in sight. Highlight a bit. Oh, got a lot done here. Me happy. I'm so happy. Doop doop doop. And up, and up, and up. Perfect. Perfection. All right, let's do one more. Oh, perfect, because I got one more of this. It's not very long, but it'll suit our purposes for today. Come here. Okay. All right, let's get this a little closer. Okay. Mm, just looking, just looking, just looking. Let's go back up. Move this over. It's I'm kind of I'm a little scrunched in my in my stuffy stuff here. All right. Boop a doop a doo. Boop a doo boop a doo boop a doo. Boop 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 a doo. All right. Yeah. Come here. Right there. Perfect. I really, I, I used to read a lot. Well, I used to listen to a lot of audiobooks, and if you follow me for a, a while, you know, I, I did do that. And I just really kind of fell out of it. I am um, definitely a lot more watching the YouTubes now. And I really want to get back into listening to books. And I think it's very beneficial and very soothing when you're doing these kinds of pieces. It's like helps pass the time. The problem is, is sometimes depending upon the reader I'll actually fall asleep because their voice is so soothing. You know, I'll fall asleep while I'm listening and then I you know I've lost an hour because I've been asleep. I'm like dang it. And it's hard to go back and find exactly where I was when I fell asleep in the audiobook. That's kind of funny.
get a hairball in my eye. I don't know where the cat went to. The cat took off. The cat was here at the beginning of the video, making a ton of noise, and then probably needs to take his early morning nap. So, good for him. Nap while you can, buddy. Well, which is for him all day long. He says, I can nap all day long, and I shall. If the dogs, I think, are quiet today because I think it's that kind of a sleepy kind of a day. It's pretty chilly this morning. It's like in the 40s or something. <clears throat> I felt like doing this project today because uh, I hadn't done it in such a long time on this uh, stitch with me, so I felt like, you know, guys got to see something different every once in a while. Put a couple more stitches in here, and I think I'm going to be done for now with this. Right here. Ah, pulled right through. Got a little bit of fuzz right there. My eyesight, guys. There we go. It's also not like the perfect light that I normally use for my stitching, so I was struggling a little bit with that, too. No big deal, people. No big deal. And that will do it for this part for now. So thank you for hanging out with me. I hope I wasn't too quiet for too long. Um, just kind of a peaceful morning. Working on the world map too. Do I have it up? Do I have it up? Hmm, where did I put it? I think I, I think it fell on the ground, and I, now I don't know where it is. Hmm. Oh wait, wait. Let's see if I can reach down here and pick it up. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, hold on. Well, let's just show you guys. Hold on. Bend this back. I really got to make it. I got to do this better. This is terrible. My whole putting pictures up on the wall system, I know it's terrible. Let's see. So, we are at... This is Multis. Um, in Latin. I gotta put my glasses back on because I can't read it. Um, which is here. So we're literally kind of right in this section right here. Um, put on the right pair again. Yeah, I did. I'm not sure if these are, like, good reading glasses anymore. I think my eyes have gotten worse, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so we're right, we're right here. So on this particular piece, this glass can be like I and S and then a little bit of a break. We're going to be doing, like, this section right here. So it's going to be kind of interesting. Um, I have a little bit of the blue uh, right over here. The next page will have a lot of that blue again, but what should I look forward to? Because that, that actually went pretty pretty well. But So we're over halfway on the top row. Only like 200 and something more pages to go, guys. Yes. All right. Well, y'all have a great day and happy stitching. I will see you soon with the question and answer session, and we shall go from there. So thanks so much for hanging out with me, and I'll see you soon.